gosh, that's... Nice. You all right there? Sorry, I ruined that. I got excited. I wanted to step to the camera and I, I stepped on the line. Oh, man, we miss you guys so much. Yeah. Once again, we are joining you on the digital platform. But next week, next Wednesday night, we're going to be back together. Together. In and this together. Room. And we're so together. excited. Is that a song? We are excited. Yeah, Shameless plug, real quick. Check out the new merch. It's here. Hey. It's here. Hey. And so, starting next week, they will be available for you to purchase. <laughs> purchase. And then you can rep this awesome Kingdom Over Everything, a Blaze you. Hoodie Kingdom, in your school, everything. in your house, wherever Youth. you go. And, and then you on can the back, proudly. there's a picture of you guys. It's so good. I'm really yeah. excited about it. I've worn Most it a lot. Say a blaze. It does say a blaze. <laughs> stoked about this, dude. I'm stoked about this merch. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm really excited about everything that's got going on around here. We're yeah. just always doing good stuff. But anyway, tonight, today, whatever time you're watching this, we got a little bit of a encouragement for you. What are we talking about today, Robert? We are talking about the way you live should be a representation, not only a representation, but an accurate representation. Mm. Presentation of Jesus Christ and the only way to do that is by walking in love. That's right I think a lot of times and I feel like we've we've kind of hit on this a lot throughout You know a lot of teachings around here But it's just so important that we yep. are constantly trying to be an accurate representation of who God is and of who Jesus is So that way when we encounter people in the wild or in the <laughs> world, you know We're, we're leaving a good in taste in people's mouths of who That's Christians so are. True. We're leaving yeah, a good yeah. impression of who Jesus is because when we say that we're Christians when we say that we're believers and we act a certain way, whatever that way may be, people associate with that as how Jesus would be or That's how right. God is. So right. we are going to be the representation of whatever that looks like. So we have to be careful of what that is. They literally judge Christ by judging you. Exactly. And how they see Christ is how they see right. you. And Jesus spoke something so powerful when he said, a new commandment I give you mm -hmm. that you would love one another as I've loved you. And then he basically said, didn't basically, he did all say, right. disregard all the other yeah, commandments the only one and obey really this one. And the reason why mm -hmm. it's the only commandment is because when you love and you follow the commandment of love, you will then fulfill all right. the other commandments. If you think of Old Covenant, the, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, Don't thou shalt not right cover. <laughs> <laughs> but those are right. all commandments that are kept by love. Right. I if won't you steal have from love, you. You won't be able to fulfill those. Exactly. The only reason I would steal from you is because I'm not loving you. Yeah, exactly. You know, and not secular love, yeah, but yeah. like godly love. Godly love is like I'm there for you. Mm -hmm. I am committed to you. That is God's love. Jesus Christ, the love of Christ, demonstrated on the cross because his commitment was demonstrated. Right. There was no positive emotions <laughs> at <Zero>. the cross. <laughs> Zero. He was not in his feels. Quite the contrary, because we know that from scripture. Right. And so we it, God's love is not a feeling based. Mm -hmm. It's a choice, it's, it's, a, a, it's commitment. a commitment. Exactly. That's right. So one of the scriptures that we want to kind of kick things off with today is over in kick first it. kick it off. Over in First Corinthians 13. One out of the Passion Ooh, Translation the it says, passion. if I were to speak with eloquence in yes. earth's many languages, meaning if I could speak in all the languages of the world, How and cool even the be? heavenly tongues of angels, Ooh. but yet I didn't express myself with love, mm. my words would be reduced to the hollow sound of wow. nothing more than a clanging cymbal. Meaning like, I can be flashy, and I can, I can speak with all these languages, and I can seem educated, and I can do all this thing, but if my words don't have love in mm. an underlying tone, or if my love, if my speech isn't convinced, love if even if my actions That's aren't right. conveying love yeah. what good am I mm. what good am I if I'm not at least putting out love into this world because love is ultimately what's gonna drive people to Jesus no, right. it doesn't matter about the words you say yeah. it doesn't even matter about what you do if the underlying force isn't being driven by love it's not gonna bring people to Christ and that's what we are meant to do and that's what the scriptures teach us it says it is the goodness of God mm -hmm. that draws men to repentance the, the the one characteristic that draws more people to Christ is his goodness Right. demonstrated by way of his love. Yeah. And so the way we see this scripture as described to us here in the book <laughs> of Corinthians is you can't communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ without love because actions and speech and behavior that is not in line with the love of God makes your life just a banging noise. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then no one can hear the message right. of how good Jesus is because they see all these other things that aren't love. Right. If your life is not conveying love, it's distracting from the message of Jesus. And, and that's ultimately what we are called to do is to give out the message of Jesus. And so we don't want anything to distract from that. Yep. So Robert had a really good illustration to kind of do drive this home. I'm about to communicate to the best of my ability uh, the gospel in a yep. simplistic type form here, but Robert is going to basically represent me almost, In this illustration, yeah. we are one. Right. This is <laughs> we the are same both person. Cody. Yeah. <laughs> 
I am me speaking or almost trying to communicate the gospel, but Jesus. robber is my actions or maybe my behavioral type side of me that maybe you encounter outside of this portion. I guess. I'm just not demonstrating love. Right. I'm talking about how good Jesus is and I'm talking about how the world needs Jesus as Cody, but I'm, I'm not demonstrating. It's funny that he's yelling right now because he has a <laughs> mic. Right? Yeah, like, like, why do you feel like he has to yell? All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was because right, so you made it. Okay. More or less, I just wanted to let you know that God loves you. my sentence and I halfway through. I don't even know. Like at some point I lost what I was even trying ah. to communicate. Which I feel like is kind Should've of put on headphones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So clearly in that situation it was like even hey, though guys. I really want to commune the girl and I believe this is how a lot of people would feel even if like you know on a on a majority of the time. It's hard I to believe, overcome that. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of things that here. I do believe that there's a lot of people that want to do good in this world. And I do believe mm. that there's a lot of people that are Christians that want to do the things of God, but sometimes they're not willing to let go of the behaviors of this world. They're not willing to let go of their flesh. They're not willing to let go of their own attitudes or their mindsets. And sometimes that's what those noises can be. That's what those distractions can be. They're not willing to let go of themselves and fully embrace their God side. And that is why sometimes things can get a little bit muddy. Yeah. And so even with me, I was trying to communicate the gospel to you, but I was off doing this noise. I was <laughs> off doing this crazy thing. And even about halfway through me trying to communicate to you, I got lost. I got confused. I lost my <laughs> confidence yeah. and that can happen I feel like that is what we need to do we have to separate ourselves we have to let go of ourselves and be like God help me overcome this and there's only one way to do that and I believe you started talking about this yesterday when we were speaking about it, but it's by help of the Holy Spirit right in Galatians chapter 5 it talks about the fruit of the Spirit in verse 22 you know his nine fruits love joy peace temperance kindness goodness gentleness I mean he that's the way God demonstrates right. his love to the world is Absolutely. through the fruits of the Spirit. But what's interesting in verse 21, it says, when the Holy Spirit controls your life, he mm -hmm. will produce these fruits. So we take that as we can't do this on our own. Exactly. You know, and like pastor's been teaching about Jesus has to be, be Lord, the Lord of which your life. means when Jesus says love, that's not a recommendation. Mm -hmm. That is a commandment on what I'm supposed to do. Right. Even now you're wearing a cornerstone shirt. I'm wearing a youth shirt. You are communicating the gospel just going out in public. Right. But if your behavior doesn't line up with your apparel, right. then your life is just this sound and noise that makes Jesus look really, really right. bad. And no one can clearly understand yeah. it yeah. because because it's, it's cluttered with all this other Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, and I think it's so cool, uh, you know, if we read further on in 1 Corinthians 13, because this is this really is like the love chapter of yeah. the Bible. It says over here in verse four, it says, love is large mm. and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessing comes to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in some shame and disrespect nor selfishly seek its its own honor. Love is not easily irritated or quick to take offense. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. And I can just keep going on and yeah. on and on. And it talks about basically love never stops loving and it extends beyond the gifts of prophecy, mm. which eventually fades away, but not yet. And then even <laughs> more enduring than tongues, which one day will fall silent, but not yet. Love remains long after words of knowledge are forgotten. But basically what we're saying here is that this love is large. Yep. It's incredibly large and incredibly impatient. No, incredibly patient, not impatient. <laughs> and, and it's so big and it's so kind and so big that our own human minds cannot do it. And everything you read in there is all about lifestyle behavior. Yeah. It's all about demonstration. Mm -hmm. You can tell when someone's not patient because that impatience is demonstrated. It comes out. It comes you can out. tell when someone is irritated because irritation comes out. Right. You can tell when someone is angry because anger comes out. So all this, his love is about lifestyle right. behavior yeah. and it teaches us how to live so the message can be clearly communicated right. through us, through our actions, through our speech, right. the way we live and our clothes that we wear. Right. It is accurately portrayed yeah. as to who Jesus is. And the way we do that is with love. I want to read a couple scriptures. It says, um, 
is this first Peter chapter 2 verse 12 be careful to live properly among your unbelieving neighbors mm. then even if they accuse you of doing wrong they will see your honorable behavior Wow and they will give honor to God when he judges the world mm. so it's interesting our honorable behavior will lead people to give honor to God so good demonstrating so cool. good behavior demonstrating the love of God right will keep your life from being insignificant and just a loud, reckless noise, and it will give your life significance to help others. That's so good. Yeah. Love that. I, yeah, no, <laughs> I do, I do have another one. I was like, yeah, it's just so good. This is Philippians 1, <laughs> through 30 out of the message. It says, meanwhile, live in such a way that you are a credit, listen to this, mm. a credit to the message of Christ. I love that. Am I living in a way that gives credit to what Jesus has done? Am I living in a way that gives credit to the message, or am I taking away right. from from that message? Am I, am I discrediting the message right. by my actions and my speech? But right. I want to live in a way that gives credit to the message. Let nothing in your conduct hang on whether I come or not. Your conduct must be the same whether I show up or see things for myself or hear from a distance. Stand united, singular in vision, contending for people's trust in the message of the good news. And so, so good. that's what we want. We want people to hear this good news right. of Jesus. And they cannot hear it through all the garbage. Right. A terrible lifestyle. When Christians talk about how good God is and how he's love and they advertise church, but then they live and, and they're mean and they're rude they and they're irritated, that. they don't yeah. reflect that, their life becomes this loud noise and <laughs> What it ultimately does is it makes you want to leave that right. space. I want to get out of here. I'm annoyed by it. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to like leave. It. I don't want to be associated with that. And that's what, you know, the Bible talks about how we are ambassadors of Christ. When we leave these walls, when we leave yeah, and go into so this good. world, people look at us and they say, that's who Jesus is. Yeah. I want to be like them or I don't want to be like yeah. them. And I believe and I want to believe that you want to be looked at the way that people want to see Jesus. And Absolutely. I believe that you can be, and yeah. Robert believes you can be. Absolutely. And so we challenge you guys this week right. to look at yourself, examine your own life. Am I being a loud clanging symbol <laughs> right now? Or am I reflecting patience when the world squeezes me? I'm like this orange and orange mm. juice is coming yeah. out because that's what's supposed to come on. And the world squeezes me. Is love and patience coming out? Mm. Is kindness coming out? Is, is, is peace coming out? Is comfort coming out? Is joy coming out? Yeah. Are the fruits of the spirit coming that's out of right. my life? Or is my flesh coming out? Right. Is the worldliness coming out of me? Exactly. And I believe this. If you seek after the Lord and you seek after the Holy Spirit, He will guide you into becoming a, a fruit that squeezes out the fruits of the Spirit. Absolutely. Remember what Jesus said. When you see me, you've seen the mm. Father. Let us all ask ourselves this question. When people see us, can they see Jesus? Amen. When people see us, can they hear the message of His love and His good news. We can do this, you can do it. Let's do it together and reach the world for Jesus Christ. Yeah, we love you guys so much. We know you can do that. We are here for you. We are yeah. so excited because next week- Next week, we say it with us. back in person. <laughs> next week! Next week! Woo! We love you guys so much. We'll see you next time for in-person worship and Digital Ablaze. Yeah, Bye. boom.